Hey everybody, HMV here. Playing more into the breach, and we've got Frank Bla Bla Frank Flank Broad Plank, Marcus, and Nathan, and we are going to the final island. We are going to just own. I hope. Um, yeah, I <laughs> I'm excited about this. I I I, I am uh, I am hopeful. For our chances let's uh let's say that and with we're gonna be dropping some pylons here um i kind of like the pylon placement they're all out of the way gives us lots of room to uh to use our special thing that's hilarious he's gonna shoot that um not only that but i could do this which i think is a great idea And then we can kill this guy. And then we can phase cannon to kill that guy. Boom, done. What? I don't even know what the problem is. What, I don't see any Vec. You see any Vec? Okay. <laughs> okay, this guy's important. Uh, is anybody going to leave the, spend their turn on the uh, in their turn on a thing? No. Okay, this would be a good turn to. Actually, it's yet another good turn to do this, too. Um, it's going to put you at one hit point, um, and it's not going to kill this guy, which kind of sucks. We could also phase cannon him. Hmm. Actually, I have an idea. This guy's... If, if he were to be here, this guy, if this guy were to be here, he would be shooting this square. Um, if this guy were to be here, he would be shooting this square. So, let's put you... What do we want to do with you? Let's put you here. Actually, no, we want to we want to kill this guy. We don't want to screw around. So let's put you here and kill this guy. Then let's put you here. And then... Wind torrent, everybody to the <laughs> to the right once. Now nothing is in danger except for you. You're in danger. Um, so you are going to. Sadly, you can't actually damage this guy now. I didn't think about that. Um, so you'll just go up here and chill out. Not the best use of wind torrent, but it's still a fun. It's a fun weapon. <clears throat> and we're blocking everything, so that's always good. Okay, he's got some lava coming his way, which is no good. Let's see, what are we doing here? Uh, Marcus, 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 Marcus. Zapping these guys isn't a bad thing, but it doesn't kill them. I see another wind torrent in our future. I think we're gonna we're gonna prep for that. We're gonna do you here. You're going to zap these guys. You're going to shoot him. And then you're going to wind torrent. Knocking one guy in the water and then pushing everybody out of the way. <laughs> and we're blocking two more spawns, which is always nice. Okay, we've got to survive one more turn. What do we got going on here? Uh, let's see. A wind torrent this way will stop all damage. So we, I, I would be remiss to not do that. Uh, but first... Hmm. Yeah, we can't actually kill anybody. It's funny the way the way the board is set out. It's it's very difficult to kill people. Oh, you can do this. There you go. And then wind torrenting isn't gonna hurt anything, right? No one's gonna no one's gonna smack into anything. Let's go ahead and do that. Now we've now we've solved the problem and then you can just zap him and kill him so he doesn't take any damage 
I love how rocks catch fire and then take damage and explode <laughs> from the fire. <laughs> There we go. Incoming seismic activity. Yeah, we totally owned the top of the island. That's always nice. It's a nice feeling. Here come the falling rocks. Here come the mechs. Here comes the power pylons. Keep them operational. We don't have any more. I'll do what I can. Kind of hopeful for a 100% uh, victory here. That would be nice. That would be another uh, achievement that I would, would have liked to see, which is uh, win the game with a full grid. So not only did you go into the final battle with a full grid, but you uh, left it with a full grid. Okay, this guy's annoying. Um, we can't actually hurt him right now, which sucks. Uh, hmm... Yeah, this isn't a this isn't a good turn to use the uh, the old slidey slidey make slide face. Um, although if we slide to the right, yeah, because these are falling rocks, so this is sadly that's not going to block anything. If we slide to the right, though, he's out of the picture. He's out of the picture. He's still a big deal, and he's still a big deal. But we can mitigate that quite well by doing, actually this will kill him, and it won't kill him sadly. Uh, let me think, you could also do this to him. What if we do this to him? And then we go to the left instead of the right. That'll push him onto this square. It'll bump these two guys together, doing doing two damage to him, leaving him at three, doing one damage to him, leaving him at four. Then this can kill him, and then he'll kill him, so never mind. Actually, no, the, Renf the bomb will be moved out of the way, but then he'll damage the, the power grid, and I want to I wanna avoid that. So, no, that doesn't work. That does not work. So I think we're, we're where we were before. We're going to push everybody this way. Um, and then he is going to be the one that takes the brunt of the damage from him, whereas he's going to kill him. So let's actually do that now. Let's damage him. Let's do this to hurt him. So he's down to one hit point. And then let's put him here. What did she get? What did Nathan get? Plus one mech move. That's definitely not bad. An extra move is good. And then we're going to do this that way. That way. Oh. That's no good. That will kill him. That will murder his face. Uh, can I do something instead? I could phase cannon him over. But then I'm taking two damage from this. But you know what? At this point, I think it's worth it. So let's go ahead and phase cannon. him over here. That sucks. I probably should have used my reset. I'm glad I noticed that, though, because <laughs> that would have ended the game really quick. A couple grid defense isn't a big deal. Not compared to, uh, not compared to saving my reset for something that's really important. There's a lot of VEC on the screen here. Okay, here's the important thing to take from this. He, if left to his own devices... No, if he had left to his own devices, we'll fall into this pit and die. If we zap like this, that is crazy. But it won't actually kill anybody. How much does that suck? Um... Hmm. Huh. Okay. Let's, let's count our, our threats here. We've got this guy's a threat, this guy's a threat, this guy's a threat, this guy's a threat. So we got four threats. And this guy cannot stay here, because he'll die. 
Is this a round where we want to use the wind turbine? And if we do, which direction? Looks like to the right is the only way to go. Um, but it's not going to actually help all that much. The phase cannon will push him out of the way. The phase cannon will also push him into this pit, which is fantastic. Okay, so that's what we're doing there. Then... Yeah, I think we're going to let the bomb take two damage. Then you are going to come up here. Hmm, actually, you're going to do this. He's dead, and he's, and he's immaterial. Then we're going to face cannon you through there. Then we're going to... Yeah, it's better to, to let it have two damage than one. Um, I think you're gonna. I think you're gonna heal. I think you're gonna stay exactly where you are. Uh, you could go here. This is, ironically enough, this is a safe location. I would love to destroy this rock so that he shoots him. But there's no way to destroy this rock without destroying other things, too. Um, yeah, just this is a bad move because then he'll kill him. Um, so I think we're just going to sit here and we're going to repair. As crazy as that sounds. Okay, this, this looks like a bad position for me, but this guy's going to die. This guy is going to die. This guy's going to run into here and die. This guy's going to do two damage to the bomb, and this guy's going to shoot this rock, which is going to do one more damage to him. So a lot going on in this turn, that's for sure. Oh, it didn't push the rock. I thought it pushed the rock. But two damage to the bomb is no big deal, as long as we don't take any more. <laughs> that's an important takeaway from this. Um... Now is this a turn we can use the we can use the thing? Probably not. Um, we can kill this guy though fairly easily. We can do this and that'll kill him. Hmm. Let me think. I, I want to protect this pylon here. And one way to protect it is to wind tunnel left or right. And I would love to wind tunnel right, but I got to get this guy out of the square first. So we could do this. Actually, wait, we want to wind tunnel left. Or do we? Let me think. If we wind tunnel this way, this guy's dead. This guy's immaterial. We still need to get this guy out of this square. So yeah, let's do this. Yeah, we can't win tunnel right because because the bomb is here. So there you go. We need to win tunnel left. Uh, you're at two. So if we do this, then he'll be dead. So let's do that. And then let's get you in a position where you can more affect this kind of thing. And then... Now he's dead, everybody gets pushed, he's dead, we got one more turn to survive, still got the boss out there, this guy's got a lot of hit points, and we've got five people, the bomb has two hit points, so we can leave this guy alive, if we have to. Yeah, the bomb has two hit points, so this guy doesn't need to, doesn't need to live, although if he does, then Nathan dies. Um... We can take four grid damage. There's one, two, there's three, four. So as long as we take care of one of these three guys, we win. So how do we go about doing that? Um, 
Well... I also think we, we do need to heal you in order to do this. Okay, so what are we going to do? Let's, uh... We can face cannon him, which isn't going to help. We can toss him, which isn't going to help. Wow, this is actually a little bit of a trick. Um, we can throw this rock here, which will knock him this way, and then basically we, we just won the game. Because he's going to do two here, he's going to do here, and then we win. Um, so that, that wins. So that's our that's our win. The problem with that is then Nathan dies. <laughs> and I'm willing to let Nathan die, but I don't want Nathan to die. Um, the other option is uh, Broadplank dies, which I don't like that idea either. Broadplank would also die here if we went here and did this to him. Uh, yeah, no matter what we do. So... And if we do this, then he's actually, whoop, no, 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 no. Turn order, yeah, he goes first. So this thing won't blow up and kill him. So that's not an option. And this doesn't do enough to kill. Um, if we go together, together we can kill him. But then we're in the same boat where they can't uh, they can't do that. So yeah, I think I think Nathan is dead. Sorry, Nathan. The other option, actually, wait. There is one more option. Nathan can do this. That'll push him out of the way. Then, aha! I see. That also cancels his attack, which is important. Now there's only one person doing anything. And we can effectively push everybody to the right one without hurting anything. Is that a correct statement? It doesn't help anything, but we can do it. Nathan's still dead. But we can't... See, we could we could shoot through here, but not only is it gonna not help, but then it's gonna kill Mark or Broadplank. Um, See, so yeah, I don't think we can kill this guy. I mean, we can kill him, but we can't kill him in time because we can do this, um, which is actually an interesting idea because it'll kill him, it'll pull him off of here. Um, as long as we let the bomb go. Yeah, why not? Okay. You actually don't have a good space to go, sadly. So just go here and, and do this, and then you do this. I'm pretty sure this is okay. And now at least this guy's going to die, although he's going to kill Nathan first. Lots of things happen here. The Renfield bomb is ready. I recommend you leave now. Or you'll share a grave with the Vec. Looks like this is where we go our separate ways, says Marcus. Take care, all. All being Broadplank. Broadplank says, now it's time to clean up a few more timelines. Getting down to business. I like it. And the bomb goes boom. Everybody dies. Except for our time travelers. And presumably the people on the islands. Because they were far enough away that this didn't kill them. <laughs> And we win. Thanks to the valiant effort of Marcus and Broadplank and Nathan, the Vec Hive has been destroyed, saving this timeline from ultimate doom. 14558 people survived, and Subset Games wins. Nice. Okay, well, we don't have anybody, uh, any amazing, like, like, people, but I think Broadplank is actually going to survive again. That Mech Reactor and the Mech Move are, um, just too good of a combination. So, Flank, you get to go again. How do you like that? And next time, we are going to back out here. We are going to unlock a new game, a new squad, Steel Judoka. These mechs specialize in positional manipulation to turn the VEC against each other. Um, 
These are another hard one to play. <laughs> um, this is the gravity thing. I, I had this in the other game. I, uh, I, I bought this for somebody. Um, and then also the Vec do one damage, plus one damage against um, themselves. So if uh, so, the idea of this squad is to get the Vec aimed at each other so that they hit each other and kill themselves. Um, so, Flank, you are going to be leading a squad with Disconnected Soul and Blizzy. And we're going to see what happens when that happens next time i hope you're looking forward to it i'm definitely looking forward to doing it i'm hmv and i will as always talk at you later